My final pick for the season of Samhain this year is the in-house supernatural slasher from Lionsgate, Jack-O-Lantern. Good luck finding this one to watch because of how generic the title is. There are bottom-of-the-barrel piss-poor productions from every film studio and movie house out there and for Lionsgate from what I've seen. I think this one takes the cake. Jack-O-Lantern is nothing short of hoping for the best and getting a pie thrown in your face at the last second because you were duped. Duped into thinking this was going to be a great horror offering to soak in for Halloween time because it involves pumpkins being carved that bleed for some dumb reason. A guy named Jack, yeah that's right, the guy that carves the pumpkins in this film is named Jack, gets possessed by one of them after he cuts its eyes and mouth out. Too bad his guts are already in my oven being baked with sugar, cinnamon, and salt because pumpkin seeds are good for you. And they are quite delicious. Don't be too upset though, zits and zombies. I was duped too. When I first bought this on DVD many years ago, I got a pie thrown in my face as well because Jack O'Lantern likes to lie. It lies to you about how this piece is going to be superb seasonal fodder when in fact it's not even close. The acting is absolutely horrendous and people in real life don't ever interact the way that the idiots in Jack-O-Lantern do. And if they do, they have to be drunk or flying high again. They can even touch the sky. It's a perfect example of just because they could doesn't mean they should, especially from a bigger well-known horror powerhouse such as Lionsgate. The pace really drags in some spots and it makes it feel twice as long, the score falls short, the characters are pointless for the most part and there are no attractive women to speak of. Well, maybe Chris, but that's... that's it. Jack O'Lantern absolutely sucks raw sewage out of a city municipality drain pipe, but somehow with all of its heinous flaws, I still adore it for what it is. Accidental camera zoom? What happened here that made one of the guys yell, oh shit? These morons have some five-star acting and logic here. Relax. Probably try to walk somewhere and try to find a phone. A phone? Hey, look around, <laughs> Deke. You see any phone booths anywhere? No. I don't know. I mean, there was a house a few miles back. Maybe they have one. <laughs> look, look, look up, look. You see any power lines, any power poles, anything like that? Look, no. no. There's no power lines. There's no power. And if there's no power... No phone. Yeah. Right. Yeah, no phone. Jesus, the acting here is atrocious. You guys see anybody else? Just give me a holler. Look, Trent, while he's back there snoozing, let's just me and you take a walk back to the house and see if you can't get a use a phone. Maybe they have some gas. <laughs> Maybe they have some shotguns and some dogs, too. Look, I don't want anything to do with these hillbilly mountain motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I hear you, man. I, I don't either, but I mean, it's worth a try. But look, you know what? You can go ahead and walk wherever the hell you want to do, and uh, I'm going to stay here with your mom, all right? All right. I'm surprised the fat guy didn't get pissed that she stole the candy bar right out of his pocket. They've been after me for the past two days. <laughs> two days. <laughs> two days. Two days. Two days. <laughs> Stop that! Oh, she's got the money. She's got I used to date a girl that asked me this question all the time. Where's my meat? Where's my meat? Where's my meat? <laughs> Uh, this, for some reason, is hilarious. Must you always dress like a bum? Only on Sundays when you drag me to church. Oh, that boy's gonna be the death of me. Hey, Jack, just like every other hypocrite of a preacher out there, I smoke, drink, swear, and touch children when I'm not telling people about the Word of God. Why does this douche speak Russian all of a sudden when everyone else speaks English? I guess I better study for him. She got to Friday. No, not tonight. I need to get some sleep. Alright, I'll see you later then. Okay. See you, Max. Look up, Edge. Catch you later. Okay. You ready there, bro? Now, 
is good idea, comrade. Oh, oh man, it's a pumpkin happy day. There's blood inside of the pumpkin? Well, Jack was warned about pumpkin guts. Oh, and Jack, be careful with the knife. I don't want you hurting yourself. And make sure that when you're done, you take the pumpkin guts and you throw them out in the woods. I don't want fruit flies everywhere. Who does this clown think he is? The Godfather? You must be Jack. Jack, I'm Polly. How you doing? Quite a type, huh? Yeah, don't worry about it. Hey, Jack, I got some great news for you. I got some clients over here from Indianapolis. Real interest in your farm. I'm willing to pay your top dollar. You know what I'm saying? Well, just think about it, Jack. Find women, money in your pocket, no more feeding the hogs, whatever else you fucking feel around. Hey! Listen, man. You know, I didn't want to bring this up or nothing, Jack, but you know you're behind your taxes six months. I need to tell you what's going to happen. You better come with a shitload of money. You know, I'll make you know if you should refuse, man. Think about it. Think about it. <laughs> Fucking retard, motherfucker. I've got an idea for a movie. How about Tractor Pull Massacre? To end my videos for Halloween this year, Zits and Zombies, I'm going out on a low note. Jack O' Lantern is terrible in pretty much every possible way, and I shouldn't recommend it at all, but I will. The main grueling issues it has are the pacing and the acting. They are both just so subpar that I almost can't believe that this pile of nuclear doo doo doggy filth ever even made it past the I've Got an Idea for a Movie stage. Especially since the studio that has ties with the Saw, John Wick, Rambo, and Hunger Games franchises was involved in putting this atrocity together. Although to be fair, this was when Lionsgate was a much smaller studio and Saw hadn't even been thought of yet. Anyway, Jack O'Lantern sucks. It really sucks. The first three films I reviewed are leaps and bounds better than this alcoholic street trash saying hello from the gutter. I'll stop now. Watch it if you want to. Just bake the pumpkin seeds first. I looked up and he was standing over me. I tried to scream, but he had his hand on my mouth, and I couldn't, I couldn't move, I couldn't breathe. You were just having a nightmare. Paige, I've never seen him before. 